And I know that, for example, like the ACB goes to so many different countries that don't yeah. have their own commissions. Yeah. So they actually will pay the English commission to bring them there. So that way the commission will be their own body. And if anybody thinks that there's a conflict of interest as far as bringing in the commission, mm-hmm. the UFC also does that too, Bellator. And to tell you one of the stories, we're in Poland, right? And uh, Poland, their rules on how the commissions there will work, you don't need to have a ringside physician. Mm-hmm. You could just have an EMT, you know, a paramedic, somebody who's basically, you know, uh, an EMT one, you know, which, yeah. you know, in the States is not a lot of training compared to what a physician or a doctor would obviously uh, receive. Um, there could be an argument made that a very veteran EMT might be better at assessing concussions and abrasions better than, you know, some doctors. Cause really there's not a lot of rules on it. I mean, Basically, as long as you have a a doctor and a medical MD, mm-hmm. um, I mean, shit. I guess technically you could be a gynecologist and sit cave side, you know, uh, but you're still a physician, right? You're still a, a medical doctor. So we're there. Show still start at seven, and it's not starting. Seven thirty. I'm up. I'm trying to figure out what's going on, and I can see the head of the English Commission standing there, Lee, and now he has several. Uh, of people, the promoters there in Poland, uh, ACB, Brass, everybody's, you know, what's going on? And uh, Lee's letting everybody know that, well, I don't know how they do it here in Poland, but we're not starting these fights until there's a doctor here. Mm -hmm. Took 45 minutes for them to get a doctor. Wow, did you have to get up and do stand up? No, stuff to entertain sat there the crowd? Just talk, no, we just didn't go live. We were just sitting oh, there. Okay. Yeah, people getting there, people breathless, angry, but this guy. And the commission there stuck to their guns to where they, uh, you know, I even told him, like, I walked up to him and he had his arms crossed and he's getting the, the evil eye from a lot of people that have invested money in this show going. Yeah. You'd imagine, you know, I mean, imagine like you got a Dana White or, you know, a Coker, you know, staring at you, like, just start the show. Mm-hmm. It's the rules here. Just play by the rules here. And he's like, nope, I don't feel comfortable with that. That's not how we do it. And actually, Big John McCarthy walked over and kind of helped him out because he's like, I'm not refereeing without a doctor. Yeah. Side. So there was a unification there. And I looked up, to, I walked up to Lee and he has, you know, a bunch of, uh, you know, legitimately angry people staring at him. And I'm like, hey, buddy, I just want to let you know right now, I hella respect you. Mm-hmm. But God, I wouldn't want to be yeah. you right now. Yeah. <laughs> But you know what? That's smart because if they do it and nothing happens, nobody's going to hear about it. But if they did it and something happened, you would be famous for all the yeah, wrong reasons. No, you're absolutely in right. That promotion. That's uh, you know. So the commission there. I mean, the English guys, uh, uh, Lee Doyle and that group, a bunch of great guys. Um, <laughs> Uh, another story that lets you know how like i haven't one time told them uh, we had this conversation because something happened in one of the countries that we were at mm-hmm. where uh one of the commissioners uh one of the you know the workers uh uh for the english commission so, there was a guy who kept stepping up and coaching cage side well little did they know that this guy in the country that we were in was very well connected you know mm-hmm. uh, and so uh he wasn't somebody you tell no to mm-hmm. and so <laughs> Our commissioner's like, hey, man, you know, you can't, you know, keep it down. So he gets a dirty look from the guy. The guy goes to walk off, turns around, punches him in the back of the head. One of our other commissioners, uh, maybe I can get them if they ever want to come on and talk about it. I won't say their names. Yeah. But he jumps to the rescue of his other guy getting hit. Like, hey, what are you doing? All of a sudden, all the guy's uh, men, you know, that, that we weren't aware were there, yeah. snatched him up and started dragging him outside. Um, we thought he was going to get killed. <laughs> wow. Know, you know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? We're not killed, but, you know, yeah. it, it, it's looking bad. Like, it's like <laughs> as he said, his feet never touched the ground. Yeah. But they ran out of him outside, explained that this guy, who he was, how important he as a businessman or, you know, he was. And so, uh, you know, <laughs> everything was okay. But I even told him, I'm like, hey, man, you know, we're, you know, we're in some crazy countries sometimes, sure. you know, like, do you ever think you might want to know who's who, you know? But they're like, no, if you're not following the rules, you're not following the rules. I'm like, and that's why I love you guys. Yeah. <laughs> that's the type of people that conquer the world. They're like, no fear. I'm like, all right, man. <laughs> so this guy was like the Conor McGregor of his village, just thinking he could just walk right up to the cage yeah. and corner and. Oh boy! Yeah. Wow. So the English Commission has to deal. I mean, we go into places 
you know, the language barriers and stuff and, and the ACB. That's why, that's why Merrick, you know, hires these guys to keep them there, um, to keep everybody honest, to keep them on the straight, you know, it keeps, mm-hmm. protects the fighters. It protects the production. You know, that there's no, you know, crazy back shit going on because guess what? You know, at the end of the day, I mean, the ACB has to provide just like you, you know, just like you pay a fee to the commission and all the licensing, but you don't run them. You know, you don't own them. It's, it's somebody else who's a separate entity who's going to make these decisions. Mm-hmm. So you don't have to sit there and go, well, you know, who, why did that guy win a decision? Like, Hey, at the end of the day, they're their own commission. They're their own judges. It's separate, you know? Yeah. Wow.